Hello, Canes fans, and welcome to HurricaneSports.com. We're sitting down with Storm 18 early enrollees and former Miami stars from their position group. Today, it's the defensive line. I'm Alex Schwartz. We're joined alongside Greg Rousseau, 6'6", 225-pounder out of Coconut Creek, Florida, and Champagnat Catholic, and a former first-round pick out of the U, a 2001 national champion, a 2001 first-team All-Big East selection, Jerome McDougal. Guys, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. No problem. Now, one thing you both have in common is going to college near home. Jerome, let's start with you. What did it mean to you to stay home? What was it like playing in front of so many friends and family? It was huge because uh, for me, uh, it was an opportunity where I kind of went to some other schools, um, junior college and uh, Pittsburgh State, and I was able to um, kind of get a little taste of being away, um, how that was, and uh, I was so I was ready to come back and um, it's good to have the support being able to go home you know I saw when I was at other schools guys able to go home and see their uh, friends and family so it was a, a easy transition for me just because uh, I was closer to home and Greg for you how important was that proximity to home in, in terms of picking Miami it was pretty important because like all my friends and family could come to like watch me play and that's just really important to me what are you most looking forward to about your career as a hurricane just being great and just working hard and just being great on and off the field, like academically too, because that's also really important. And for you, Jerome, what do you look back on and remember most about your time at Miami? Oh, man, how much time we have? As much yeah, as you need. Yeah, nah, it was great um, because for me, it was a group of guys who, uh, who came in and um, really our goal from the beginning was to win a national championship. And remember, I was coming in on the tail end of kind of those tough times and probation and stuff so um, when you came in you already knew what the culture was and it was a winning culture and um, if you weren't here to win and you had to hit the door um, and not just hey leave no you physically you have to hit the door and uh, we understood uh, that and um, if we were up to the task and it, I mean it was it was awesome man and I'm looking forward to getting back to that you we saw glimpses of it last year um, so I think that um, we start to get that culture back here, and it's, it's, it's exciting. Greg, what have your first few weeks at Miami been like, and what has been the biggest adjustment for you? Um, they've been tough, like just mat drills, stuff like that, like a lot of like hard workouts. Like the biggest adjustment to me has been like managing my time and stuff, because in high school, you have more time, you're like at home and stuff like that, but here you're really busy, you got class like spread throughout the day, like like nighttime classes, stuff like that, and then you got workouts. Jerome, how did you learn to manage all your time and adjust to that when you got to college? You know, it's tough, and um, you kind of have to get it early. Um, you can't mess around. Um, it, it was We were forced to do it, uh, just kind of like how Greg is saying. Um, we were forced to do it, and um, hey, you either get with the program or you won't be here long, and um, it's a tough adjustment. It's a tough adjustment for um, you coming from high school or even coming from junior college, you know, um, Miami demands a lot of your uh, time and your energy, and um, you just have to step up to the plate. I mean, um, your body is willing. You just got to get your mind um, in line with your body. What would be your biggest piece of advice to Greg or any other guy coming in starting, starting college at Miami, whether it's about academics, athletics, social life, whatever it might be? That, that, would, that would be the biggest one, um, just managing your time. Um, I would just tell Greg to uh, kind of get that early, get that early on and um, just buy in, you know, because it's not going to get any different. It's um, not going to get any easier. All right, well, there you have it from Jerome McDougal and Greg Rousseau. Thank you both very much. Appreciate you joining us.